Doctors and nurses want to use their personal smartphones and tablets at work, but hospitals have to protect patient data. And it's not just the data that's on the device, but actually the ability for those um, applications on there that may be infected coming into the enterprise. Next on Health Tech Today, how to defuse the wrestling match. Gone are the days when a health organization's IT department supplied all the devices that their organization's employees use to do their work. Today's employees often want to work with the same devices they use in their personal lives. What about exposing the health system's network and applications to malware or viruses? And what if that doctor's smartphone or tablet has personal financial or health information stored on it? These are serious concerns that sometimes come with stiff civil and criminal penalties when things go wrong. So what's the CAO to do? Well, joining us is Microsoft's Director of Private Cloud Strategy, Colin Nurse. Colin has 30 years of experience in IT and a deep understanding of the complex IT projects that often face CIOs and even CEOs in their organizations. Colin, welcome to Health Tech Today. You, we have on the table a bunch of devices. Now, some of these devices, like this one, uh, this one here, uh, are built specifically for the healthcare environment. Then there are devices like this and this and smartphones and other things. What are the concerns the CIO is facing? So the biggest concern, obviously, is security aspects of the data. That's the, most, that's the most significant. And, and it's not just the data that's on the device, but actually the ability for those um, applications on there that may be infected coming into the enterprise. And we can be talking about really important, serious data. I mean, it's, it's patient personal health data, it's financial data. The other thing to bear in mind about these devices, not all of them are compatible for uh, you know, the applications that are running in a lot of the clinician environments. So those are areas of concern, both from uh, you know, IT, Nonetheless, if I'm a cardiovascular surgeon and I've just bought one of these or one of these and I'm bringing it into the hospital, it's very hard for you as CIO to say, nope, sorry, you can't use that. You're right, and, and so we want to say yes because we recognize the productivity gains that these devices bring to our environments. But having said that, there's still a framework we need to work with, and that framework is something we actually want the business to own. We don't think IT should be the police around these devices. You know, we make recommendations about the platforms TPM chip, for instance, to make sure we can have credentials on the device, the ability to be able to remote wipe, force policy around password resets and force policy of password on the machines themselves. Provided we can do those kinds of things, then I think that we've got a pretty good process to be able to deal with these things. And this suggests to me that not only do we need good organizational policy, but it seems like IT needs to get ahead of the curve a little bit and really work with clinicians and help them understand things to think about before buying some device and bringing it to the hospital. What are some of those things they should think about? So there's two things. I think, first of all, the business has got to decide what applications are critical for their business. So what's, what's high business impact, what's low business impact? So there's a business decision made there. But secondly, you're right, absolutely. IT have to come ahead of the curve to be able to provide that, that framework, really, to guide the clinicians about the acceptable hardware that could come within the policies that you know, the business has defined. And even some things like, is the device rugged enough for the hospital environment? What happens if I <laughs> drop it? We mentioned if it's lost or stolen, can it be remotely wiped? Those kinds of things are really critical to consider. And if there are peripherals, if you can plug things in that you might want to for file and print and so forth. And also the, the cleanliness of the device. I mean, being able to clean the devices sure. in case of how rugged are they for fluids going on there, for instance, or any other kinds of... Uh, What's Microsoft doing to help the CIO make sense of all this and, and wrap some policies and security around this? So it's a great, great question. And, and we've, got, we've got a great new tool set out at the moment that allows customers with exactly these problems within a policy, within a framework, to be able to manage those devices. Providing you can actually exchange ActiveSync uh, client on that device, we can manage that device in a single pane of glass along with the applications and the servers that they connect to. And you're speaking of solutions like System Center System 2012, Center 2012. Intune for sure. viruses yeah. and malware, that yeah. kind of thing. Absolutely. All right. So uh, just in summary, any final thoughts for CIOs? The last thing I'd say on this is that it's not really an IT problem. It's a business problem. And so that's, an, that's the important aspect. And really, IT is only here to help the, you, the clinician. All right. So, so that's it. We'll leave it at that. Colin Nurse, thanks for joining us Thank on you. Health Tech Today. Thank Pleasure you. having you on the show. Jeez. On behalf of Microsoft Worldwide Health, our staff and sponsors, I'd like to thank you for joining us. You know, we always enjoy hearing your feedback. And we'll see you next time for another episode of Health Tech Today.
For more thoughts, comments, news and reflections on healthcare IT, join Dr. Bill Krauss on Health Blog.